me overthinking something very little. And I don't know if anybody out there can relate to this specific feeling. But I've just started getting really, really down on things I didn't need to get down on. Just overthinking, basically. And as I started just getting emotional and crying, I started thinking to myself, Am I, am I acting right now? Is this, is this real? Or am I trying to, like, look pretty for a camera that's not there? Because sometimes that's how I feel. And I don't know if it's... I'm sure I'm not alone. I have to remind myself that this is why I watch YouTube. Because when I see people going through things that seem weird to everybody else, I relate so much. I see myself so much in that. And I've been wanting to do this for such a long time because of these feelings. And I tried years ago and it was, it was, it wasn't real. It wasn't, it was like an act, like it was hot. I'm a YouTuber and that's not me. I'm not that person. I kind of was when I was younger, I think. It was like, you just, I'm 40 years old. <laughs> like I don't have the same energy. I kind of want it, but I'm tired. <laughs> and I feel like sometimes it feels like an act, even though I feel like I'm being genuine at the same time. And I feel a little crazy sometimes when, and I hate to say the word crazy, but it's just a word that pops into my head because I'm old and I'm designed to think that way. And I have to keep reminding myself that that's not how things are right now. I'm just... I'm actually, I'm really relieved right now because I didn't expect to feel this good about feeling this bad. <laughs> I think I needed to let, I think I needed to let this out. I'm recovered more quickly than I expected. My heart is still racing, but I feel okay. I don't, I don't get nerves the same way as other people I know do. Mine are all inside. You never really see me freak out, but it does happen. No one ever sees this. My husband has seen this, and my son has seen this. I, I try to hide it, but when it gets this bad, I do step away. But I don't want to hide my tears because I want him to understand that he's not alone in feeling this way sometimes, too. My son is three and he's on the spectrum. And he's the most amazing thing in the entire world. And he really makes me see things in myself that I never thought of before. And I've, I've never been diagnosed. I'm not going to assume anything. But the more I look into it, the more research I do, and the more I see what he does and the things he does and why the things he does that look weird to other people, I figure out right away. And I'm just like, oh, he's putting this face towards the book at certain parts because when you saw the YouTube video of somebody reading it out loud, the video zoomed in. Things like that. He does all the time. And he's amazing. And he's kind of finally starting to talk. And yes, he's three. It's, he says his alphabet and he says his numbers. He knows all that stuff. He's known all that stuff since he was two years old. Um, it's just the difference with um, different kids are different. Even kids on the spectrum are all very different. And you can't assume that you know, if you know another kid that can do something like my son, they're definitely on the spectrum. It's, it, that's not the case. I'm not a doctor. I'm not diagnosing them. Everybody is different, and every kid is different, and every case is different, regardless of the similarities. And he's really making me notice a lot of things about myself.
and you know like even when you're a parent you have you definitely have your selfish self-centered moments you you feel guilty about having them sometimes but then you realize you have to have them you have to think about yourself because you have to be great for this 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 person that you love so much you can't give five percent of yourself you can't give 50 percent of yourself you have to give so much but you want to make sure you're okay and if you don't feel okay you have to talk to somebody you have to let it out somehow and I let it out in bursts by myself so much just like this and I talk myself down and I say things about myself that are just like multiply like I don't know it's it's like things that people told me in the past like bullies because you know it was ridiculous it was like, I was weird I am weird and I decided a long time ago that the word weird means nothing. It's just like, oh, that just means different. It's not a negative thing anymore. Even if somebody says it to me like, you're so weird. I say, I know. Like, it's just a descriptor. I am weird. And yes, I have a death hawk at 40 because I'm, I didn't feel like dealing with the stringy hair on the sides of my head. My hair just did not want to recover very well it's it's actually finally starting to grow i know it doesn't look great but it this is this is the best it's looked in a long time and the side shave it's like velcro right now the side shave just makes my life so much easier because if my hair is in my face and annoying me i just tie it all back and there you go i'm like i'm done i don't have to worry about these little pieces that i'm sorry i've never recorded anything like this before I wanted to, and there were times when I started recording something, and I didn't post it because I knew it wasn't real. It was just me trying to do what I thought I was supposed to do. And I've been for the past, I want to say month, because my son has been going to school. Yes, at three, he's been going to school since September. And it was scary, but it's like, it's going to help him with the social aspect of his autism um, in particular, because his specific tendencies are to just ignore people. And he loves numbers, he loves letters, he loves music, he loves, he loves cars because of the wheels, um, not because of the racing, because he likes to look at how things work. He looks at everything. <laughs> It's really amazing. He knows how to count. Like <laughs> he, he's known how to count. <laughs> he's gonna make me look really stupid one day, um, if this isn't already looking stupid. Because I'm sure somebody out there is thinking, oh, yeah. you know, I I see a lot of YouTubers who do things like this, and they almost not all of them. Actually, the ones I watch, I feel like almost all of the ones I watch at some point or another, are so concerned with, like, what people are going to think at some point, and they just say, like, oh, do you think people are going to like this, or something like that, or I hope nobody thinks I'm this, or I apologize if, you know, sometimes, sometimes you, you don't need to apologize. Sometimes you need to let the responsibility of people not liking you just step away. Like, you need to let them do that and not worry so much about it and just just do what you're doing. And I'm sure a lot of this is because I am 40, but some people get to this point earlier in life. I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm 40 so I know more. No. I'm 40 so I know what I know in my 40 years of living. My 40 years of living have taught me that I'm constantly working on myself even at 40. I never, I don't know if that I'm ever going to get to a place where I'm just like, eh, whatever. I'm like that a lot of the time, but there's that percentage of time that I'm not, that it's just, it just breaks me down. And I'm surprised at how much it breaks me down. I wonder if it's just been bottled up and I'm not as tough as I thought, but I think I'm just a human. 
and sometimes I go through emotions. I'm sure some of them are, you know, influenced by hormones. I do have endometriosis, um, and for me that tends to, that, I sometimes my PMS symptoms are a little, it's like the emotional stuff, and even ovulation, and it's just kind of like, well, that's twice out of the month, so it's for letting me be a little, a little all over the place, but again, I'm weird. Um, I wonder who isn't, <laughs> and if you're not, are you, are you really not weird, or are you just pretending to not be weird? Um, I just hope everybody out there, I hope you get what you need in life, and I say that to everybody, because that means something to everybody, in my, in just my brain. Um, if you're, if you have bad intentions, I hope life gives you what you need. And if you have good intentions, I hope life gives you what you need. You know, there's two different meanings to those. Um, also, I apologize if anyone has noticed that one of my eyes goes a little wonky. Yeah, I think Kristen Bell has the same situation. When she said it, I was so happy I wasn't able to see. That's why I like her so much. Is sometimes you relate to these things that are like, no one else knows about that. Yeah, I had a wonky eye too, Kristen Bell. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to go. And I hope this hits anybody in the right way. And um, again, I hope life gives you what you need.